Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by today, I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel. So today we're going to be using this beautiful, beautiful palette by Genius Place, it's the Deuce. It's really, really pretty. You can see I've had quite a lot of use, especially in this shade here. So that shade is called Creme. Um, and I think that's the main shade. I just really, really like it. I think I'm going to use that one today. Um, but first, let's have a look. Yeah. Um, first, let's go in with the Too Faced White Chocolate shade, as there's no shade like that in that particular palette. So let me get my brush. Okay, so that's that. Right, let's go in with Creme here. It's a grey um, spring summer shade. This, and it's actually a grey spring summer palette. Just beautiful. Now we don't go too mad with it. Um, but just enough. Oh, guys, I've hit pan. Wow, that's how much I use that particular shade. Um, now, normally it takes me a very, very long time to hit pan in an eyeshadow. As you, as you can see with the um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar, it's taken me so long to kind of hit pan on that white chocolate shade. But we have, we have, um, done quite well um, and I'm hoping I'll be able to use it up completely this year so yeah I can't believe I've hit pan on this eyeshadow I've not used it for such a long time I mean it might only be baby pan but that's a big step for me so I'm just popping a little bit more on now so we can get a little bit more pan but yeah I you wouldn't think with me not liking reds and pinks you wouldn't think I would like this but it's a really nice soft pastel pink it's just really really pretty right so that's the damage it's only a small baby pan but I'm gonna try and pull that out as much as I can well not that I'm gonna try and pull this palette out as much as I can when I want a shade that colour um, now that I know I've hit pan on it. I think I'm going to go in with the darker pink just ever so slightly in the outer base so it's the shade Custard. Not one of my favourite shades in the palette. Actually if I use that I'm going to have to use it on the lash line. No what we'll do is we'll go in with this brown because I actually really really like that and that's called Crepes. And I don't mind putting that on the lash line. See, if I go in with too many red tones on the lash line, if I go in with too many red tones on the lash line, it makes my eyes um, look like the bloodshot because the water anyway sometimes when I apply makeup, it just looks worse. Right, and then I'm going to go on with my finger using Macarons. It's such a pretty shade. Look at that. If that isn't spring, summer, I don't know what is. Oh, so pretty. So we've got this palette. I know it's an older palette. And um, what do you think of it? I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. Tell me to get a glass of water, my um, my watch. Goes off at every half hour, which I think is really cool because I don't always remember to drink water. So it's nice to have the reminder there. 
Oh, where are you? I'll just have a bit now. <clears throat> right, so I don't think we need to spray it, but we're going to do it anyway and I'll show you how pigmented it can get. I can't even remember the last time I used this palette on camera, but I have done a fair few looks with it, which I'll try and leave in the cards. So I'm going to spray this brush, it's the BH Cosmetics 103, so it's just a packing on brush. I'll use this spray, I still don't know where my um, my Primark one's gone, so I'll use this one. And we'll just, oh look how pigmented it is on the brush, we'll just pack that on. Wow. Yeah, it's building up really nice. So pretty. Right, so let me blend it out a little bit. going to go in with some more white chocolate for the brow bone. I'll be doing a project pan update on the chocolate bar very very soon, probably in the next few days. I just want to make sure that I've used it as much as I can for this kind of update. I mean it is a little bit late going up but I wanted to use it with the palettes that pretty random chose out for me. As of this moment, the palettes that Pretty Random chose out for me have been in my drawers for four weeks. That's practically unheard of for me. Um, but I have been struggling with my eyes, so I didn't wear makeup for a good two, three weeks. Um, so we're just trying to get through them as quick as I can. But I've got to admit, like, every time I go to the drawers, I am looking down at them and thinking, I'm fed up, I need, I need another rotation going in of palettes. Um, so, yeah... There is that. Right, and then what I want to do is I want to go in with this beautiful duo chrome here. Um, it is quite chunky, well mine is. I've spoken to other people and they just think that I got like a dodgy formula. Um, it's alright for the inner corner but when you put it all over the lid you can see chunks in it which is a real shame because I do like a good Jewel Chrome. If you've watched a fair few of my videos now, you'll know that. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm spritzing this brush as well. I'm trying to build that up because I want to I want it to be a little bit more intense. That's what it's looking like without the spray. Um, Yeah, it's not really building it up. So I'm going to go in with that shade. I've not even told you, it's called Tight. I'm going to go in with Tight and use that as a highlighted topper. This brush, it just says it's the Crease 115. So let's just use that. Oh yeah. That looks nice. That is so pretty. And then I'll just pop some spray on. Whew. And then I'm going to go in with this shade here again. Crepes. Where's the brush? Oh, it's here. So we're going in with the Zoeva 322 Brow and Line, yeah, Brow Line Brush.
Right, so that's that. Then we're just going to tie it line with the Too Faced Love Eyeliner. I'm hoping they're not going to water any more than they already are. And then I'm going to use this new mascara I've got. So it's the Rimmel Scandal. It's the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Volume On Demand. I don't know how I feel about it, but I have only used it the one time. I mean, there's definitely mascara going on, but it's very light. And then, we just need a lipstick. So we've still got three of these Charlotte Tilbury's on the bed. Blush Cherry Velvet Underground. 1975 red I used yesterday so we're not using that um so it's one of these I think that's too bright the eye looks quite bright so I think that's just going to be too bright I think I want to use this lost cherry it's a really nice shade just looks like that let's take the lip balm off okay And guys, that's a finished look. I think it looks really, really nice. I just need a bit of this macaron shade because mascara has gone on it. And apply some to the right eye to make it even. And I might go back in with the tart shade as well on my little finger, see if we can build it up. Oh, that is just such a beautiful shade it's like a white but then it's got like a lavender purple reflect I don't know if you can see it on my little finger there and you should see it when I come a little bit closer in a minute but yeah when I'm putting my finger in it certainly is really really chunky Right, and I think that's it. The lipstick goes really, really nicely with the shades that I chose like I thought it would. So, guys, this concludes the look. That's what we're looking like. I really, really do like this look. I think it looks nice. Yeah, it's a perfect look for spring and summer, like I said earlier. I think this palette is absolutely stunning. Um... The artwork is amazing. All Juvie's Place artwork is really, really gorgeous. The really affordable palettes as well, especially if you get them in the sale from Juvie's Place itself, you can get some amazing bargains. I don't buy from them personally. I used to buy from Beauty Bay, but Beauty Bay have stopped selling Juvie's Place now, which I'm really unhappy about. Or I'll get from Depop. It gets to me a lot quicker than it would if I bought from America and I don't trust the postal service so yeah this is what mine's looking like I'm really happy with this now it's got a little bit of baby pan in it and hopefully we can expand on that every time we use it so this concludes the video guys thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it so if you're not already subscribed I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below click the notifications bell please like it really does help out the channel share and comment and I will see you in my next one bye guys